Steve and I have been really excited this year because SRX, the Superstar Race Experience series, announced that they're going to be racing at Ryan Blaney and the Blaney family's racetrack, Sharon Speedway in Ohio. So we've been really following the announcements that have come along with that series. And then along the way, we kind of discovered that there's another Blaney-esque connection to that series, and that is through you and uh, your better half, Brittany Zamora. Um who is, I don't know, I don't want to call you an up-and-comer because you're a pretty established uh, short track racer in the, in the pro late model rakes. But, but Brittany, you have an opportunity here to possibly race at Nashville Fairground Speedway against some of, the, some of the racing's legends there in the SRX series. If you can win a fan vote, are you excited <laughs> about this opportunity? That's the hard part is it's all based off of a fan vote, but it is a really exciting opportunity. Um, you know, I moved to Nashville and got a race there for a little bit, became the first female to win a premier division race on the five eights. So that track is automatically one of my favorites. I feel like if you win somewhere, you it automatically goes to the top of your list. Um, but it's just a really cool opportunity. The SRX series has gained a lot of attention last year. And I think they just have a really cool platform going with the names that they're bringing into the series and what they're doing traveling to all these tracks. So to be in the running is pretty cool. They did um, a little update on where we stand in the poll and I'm second right now. So out of six, which is a really good start to it. I feel like it's a long vote. It goes for a month. So, you know, to be up there this soon is pretty cool. So like I was saying, you're pretty established in your career so far. You started out you just, you just mentioned you just moved kind of east, but you started out in the Pacific Northwest. You ran the Northwest Super Late Model Tour uh, where you won some races out there. You've made ARCA East and West starts. You mentioned that big win last year at Nashville Fairgrounds where you're trying to win. Um, can you talk a little about what your season looks like this year? You're still you're running with that Rackley War team. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Um, I'm going to do the full series down at Montgomery, Alabama. And for the Show Me the Money series, we're going to go for a championship. So... Um, as you mentioned, I had those two touring championships up in the Northwest. So it's kind of my chance to come out here and show that I can do it out here too. So it's going to be tough. The first race of the year was the Alabama 200 and you had some of the biggest names in late model racing out there, but it just makes you as a better driver and it's going to help prepare me for the rest of the season. So it's just, you know, a lot, a lot of potential good things are going to happen this year. So if it all just works out in our favor. Now, did you specifically, you specifically moved out east because this is kind of the, the hotbed for pro late model, super late model racing. Do you think that you're going to extend beyond just some of these Montgomery starts? You think you'll pick up anything else that's around up and down the east coast or still TBD on that? Yeah, it's still to be determined. Um, I want to do some more races over at Nashville in the pro late model. Um, I feel like every time we've been there, we've gotten better. So just trying to carry that momentum. And it's just a fun track and a fun environment. And like everybody likes Nashville, right? <laughs> but um, it's just a really cool track, and that's where the team is based out of. So um, if we could just get back there, that'd be pretty cool. So one other exciting thing that's kind of happened to you and, and several other women in the sport is you've kind of picked up this uh, sponsorship or this program through one of the major sponsors in NASCAR, and that's Bush Light. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so what they're doing is they're just trying to help us females get into the higher levels of NASCAR. Um, their main focus right now is that there's zero girls in the Cup Series, and we know that we have the potential to be there, and we have the skills to be there, so it's just getting that sponsorship and helping us get to the top series. You know, with only 40-ish drivers in the top level of racing, it's slim pickings anyways, so it's going to be hard for anybody to get in, but just to know that Bush Light and bringing in the history that they have with NASCAR – and giving us this platform, it's really just cool to be a part of it. And we'll, we'll see what we can do with it this year. So you've been in the, in the pro late models. Um, do you have any other interests in running anything else like touring cars or IMSA, um, dirt racing? <laughs> Obviously that's becoming a bigger part of uh, some things that NASCAR drivers are doing. Any interest in any other types of cars outside of the late model ranks? I would race anything. Yeah, I'm not too picky. I just love to be behind the wheel. So I'd race anything. I've done um, majority super late model racing, gotten to pro late model racing when I moved out east. Um, 
I've done one dirt race. I don't think that counts, but it was in a Canon car. So okay, yeah. I'd like to like kind of redo that and get an actual dirt car on dirt. I think that'd be fun. Um, I think it'd be cool to go race even just like at Millbridge. Um, but so we'll see what, you know, I can come up with and, you know, just I'd get anything behind, behind anything of the wheel. So I'm just a racer at heart. So just love being out on the track. So we talked about this, just getting back to this XRX deal, because that's kind of the, the big reason why we wanted to talk to you. So the race that at Nashville Fairgrounds is happening on July 9th. Voting is happening right now, and it goes all the way until May 6th, and they're going to announce the winner on May 7th. Can you talk to uh, people a little bit about how they can vote for you and uh, maybe why? Yeah, you can vote on National Fairgrounds Speedway website or on any of my social media. I have the links posted everywhere. Um, so you can use those votes. It is one vote per person. So we're really just trying to reach as many people as we can. And I know I have a lot of great supporters on the West Coast and now out here. So really just trying to gather everybody in. And it's just a really cool opportunity. And it's one of those events that everybody across the country tunes in for. So if I can be that representative, um, not even for females, but just for, you know, the West Coast and then be, you know, the advocate for my sponsors, Rackley and Bush. Um, it's just a really cool opportunity. And I think it'd be a lot of fun too to race. A little, like a lot of those guys in that race are people I might never have a chance to race against ever again. So it's just one of those once in a lifetime opportunities. So Brittany, I definitely want to thank you for giving us a little bit of your time. Um, so like I said, or like we said, you can look at Brittany's social media, look at all the Team Blaney stuff. We're trying to basically call on all the Blaney fans out there yeah. to, to get behind you for this. And I know Steve's been, been pushing it really yeah. well. Hopefully the, hopefully, the, hopefully the website is up and running correctly because I know they <laughs> it crashed the first day that they went to do the vote. Um, but uh, if it's a little slow or something like that, just make sure you've click, clicked on hers. It, it'll highlight it. And then you go down to the bottom of the page and just fill out the information real quick there. It's a, it's a name and a phone number and I don't know, maybe an email address and that's it. So, you know, just kind of be patient with their website in case their website is slow because it's, you know, it, 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 it couldn't handle the pressure on the first day, but you're, re you're literally at the top of the page, which is kind of cool too, because, um, I thought they were going to do it alphabetically and they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I think they went alphabetical by first name. First name. Yes. There you go. Yeah. And, yeah. So it just and worked I, out in my favor. It worked but... out real good. So, yeah, I mean, anybody who's going to go ahead and vote, um, we'll, we'll try to keep reposting links through, through the Team Blaney uh, Facebook and, uh, and Twitter. Um, but like I said, just make sure it's highlighted and then go to the bottom of the page, fill it out. And then once you fill it out, it says submit right there. Boom. That's it. One time. You only got to do it once. Um, it'd be great if we could do it a couple of times. Uh, we used to, we used to know a guy who could set up a computer that could vote all day. <laughs> uh, Adam. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, remember? you can't stack the vote this time. So uh, just one vote. vote, every vote really counts. So she's still campaigning for my vote. I'm still, <laughs> <laughs> he just, he's got, he's got, he's got a whole month, whole month. to Yeah. Decide. He's going to wait till May 6th. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be the one that puts you over the top. That's, That's the, right. Yeah. He wants, to be, he wants yeah. to be that one. Help should leave the last lap. Yeah. If she wins this vote somehow, we'll do a uh, we'll do some kind of cool giveaway on here. I'll get something signed or something. That would be awesome. awesome. So that's it. Brittany Zamora, you're going to vote for her. Uh, you can find that on her social media accounts, the SRX social media accounts. So Brittany, we want to wish you luck in your next race. I think it's April 30th, the end of this month, at, at what is it, Montgomery Speedway, right in the Show Me the Money series. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it.